but but I was like, you know what? I'm going to Burning Man. I'm going to try acid. I went with my buddy, it was my college roommate. Neither of us had done it before. A guy had given it to us who I was like, I've done this acid. I know how to do it. He's like, I recommend either taking some of this acid and listening to classical music and eating fruit. That was his. Hmm. And I was like, all right. I was like, I like listen to classical music and eat fruit. Yeah, and I was like, I like classical music and I like fruit. So I was like, <laughs> I was like, this sounds great. I was like, so we're out in the fucking desert and we eat it on our last day. And have you been to Burning Man? No, I I thought it was I was kind of blown away. I found it. I've it was, I enjoyed it very very much. It's mm. fucking weird. I mean, it's I'm like sure, but it's ex- I don't know. It was like people executing whatever they're doing incredibly well and there's a lot of different versions of it and stuff but it's kind of um there's a lot of pranksters there like there's it's actually not it's like there's a hippy dippy quality to it but then there's some real people kind of fucking with people in a fun way that i i got a kick out of but we took the we took acid at like i don't know four and we start we're driving around the desert you know you're everyone's on bikes you're just on a bike driving around did you have to wear a mask no, the the dust was fine. It was cool, and like we start kind of feeling it, and that I, I've had visuals on mushrooms before, but this all of a sudden, like, the meltiness of everything started to set in, and the have you done acid in the desert before? No, never in the desert. It's uh, it's a good good place. For it's it? a good f- place for it, just because like, <laughs> visually, what's happening is like. Uh, is pretty interesting. Like we went, we were driving around on bikes, and we see these like immediately. Then like some couple is like, "Can you take a picture of us as we um like try to do a duo yoga pose with the sunset?" I'm like, "Okay, I'm trying to <laughs> I'm trying to do with my camera." You know what I mean? And you're like, oh, "Okay, I think I I think this is what you want," you know. And, and then we drive away from there, and there are these like porn stars who are to want pictures of the or taking pictures of themselves. And I was like. We're like, you know, we're in the Burning Man spirit. Like, we'll give them the gift of our music. And, like, they don't want, they're not, they don't want, I'm not even hitting nothing. I'm just like, we're like driving around. We've got our little, like, uh, you know, our little Bluetooth speaker playing classical music. And they (laughs) they don't give a fuck. They don't want any of it. And then we go and sit and, and we're just now starting to peak right at sunset in the desert. And it's like, it it was it was like oh this feels like uh, some version of what heaven feels like you know like where the the sky the, the colors in the sky are unbelievable and and the all of a sudden all the desert all the sand you know this it's like this real fine alkaline dust and it's like you feel like you're seeing some real like grid work you know mm. I don't know if you have that feeling where you're like oh I can feel like I'm seeing some underlying dynamics of the structural stuff I've seen that on mushrooms yeah yeah where it feels like you, you, you're witness to the pattern of things yes like there's some sort of yeah the structure of things yeah and that's what it felt like you were like you're looking at this like this crazy you know and you've got yeah so you're you're seeing the the this sand this very fine light sand with the really red mountains and then the blue really crisp blue sky with with uh the the white clouds and and it felt like you were like oh i'm seeing some structural shit that's going on it's it was quite and we're listening to this guy eric city who's like a classical musician and eating cherries. I mean, I mean, like, this is pretty fucking sweet. And I was like, That's cool that you followed it to a T. You went with the fruit and you I, went with we the music. We were like, why not? Let's just have it. You know, Man. why not? And and I think classical music is, but it was interesting because I, I didn't. So then, so then the sun sets and it's like what I, even at the height of it, it didn't feel warm like mushrooms have felt. It felt like cold. Clinical. Cl- clinical, exactly. Yeah. That's exactly the word. I have a theory word. about that. And I, it's very interesting that you said you took it riding bikes, too, because that's in a lot of ways an homage to Albert Hoffman. That's how he found out about it. You know, he synthesized LSD and, you know, got it in his skin when he was working with it and then rode his bike home. And mm. on the bike ride home, realized, oh, my God, I'm Whoa. fucking tripping balls here. <laughs> yeah. Without even knowing what tripping was. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, he... He knew something was going he on. He made it. I mean, he made. I, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe it, the initial reason for creating LSD. I think they were they were trying to come up with a drug to induce labor. 
I'm pretty sure that uh -huh. was the or original. I think that's what they were working on and in the process synthesized LSD. And LSD as a compound, and it's one of those unbelievably potent compounds where someone, I think it was Terrence McKenna described it as the, the power to weight ratio is so huge that it's like if you had one ant that dismantled the Statue of Liberty in 30 minutes. <laughs> like that's how, that's how potent LSD is. Yeah, well, I, I mean, I took... I think you know, I actually said the Empire State Building. Jesus, yeah. I took a. I mean, I t I took a, a responsible amount. Mm. Like I was like, I don't need to like lose my mind here. I've I'm, only microdosed it. Yeah, I've only. Well, one one time I doubled the micro, but it was still it was a small dose. It, but it was enough to just like, mm, okay, yeah. here it is. I had planned the synthesis of the compound with the intention of obtaining a circulatory and respiratory stimulant. Hoffman wrote. The new substance, however, arose no special interest in our pharmacologics, pharmacologists and physicians. Testing was therefore discontinued. Huh. Hmm. Why did I think uh, creation of lucidic acid? 25th attempt, aptly named wow. LSD-25. Not knowing, he was not after like a psychedelic drug experience. No, I don't believe so. Dosed no. at 4.20 p.m., y'all. Look at him. Look did at him. Go really? down. Look at that. Go down That's a little bit. That's hilarious. Yeah. yeah. That he is dosed, hilarious. He, he dosed himself at 420. <laughs> <laughs> and it, it yeah. was most intense from 6 to 8 p.m. During that time, he rode home on his bicycle. Fuck. It's the best. It feels yeah. great. So the so we 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 sort of are peaking uh, around sunset. And it's like, ha it feels like I'm with my buddy of 20 years. I've known him since college. We've gone through our lives together. And there's that thing when you eat, when you trip where you're like, that space time continuum thing there's like it feels less linear time where you're like i'm having thoughts that i had 20 years ago and i'm having them today and i'm going to have them in 20 years and like where this the linear nature of all of this feels a little less you know and i'm with my buddy who's been like a witness to my life you know so we're having this great large conversation about our lives and all that shit and the sun setting it's beautiful and then it gets dark and it's like all right let's go watch the man burn now, like, you know, that at Burning Man, everybody gathers, 70,000 people gather. You go to this big central area where the man who's been sitting there for seven days is then there's like a crazy fire starter show. Fireworks go off and then you burn this like 30 foot man and it's dark and it's night and and it's like <laughs> it was the other side. It felt like heaven and hell. You wow. know, like where you're all of a sudden, and that's where I felt like it was weird because, like, that's where I felt the clinical thing where I'm like, I feel sort of high, but I now feel actually quite in a weird way, quite sober. And I'm, I felt like I'm witnessing these things and I feel removed from them in a way that when you're, I feel like when you're on mushrooms in some way, you're like, you feel kind of inside of the, the flow of, 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 of nature. And, but I was also like, it's the end. By the time of the end of Burning Man, like there are people there all week and building it and putting all the stuff together. And artists, it's interesting. And then like there is definitely a, a section of Burning Man which is just like super wealthy people showing up for like debauchery and and like to be around models who are nearly naked. And it's like, and that's when, and you look mm. around and it, and the aesthetic of Burning Man is like somewhere between like um, Mad Max. Game of Thrones and Tron. <laughs> like, it's somewhere in that space, mm. which is fucking rad. But then when you're kind of on acid and you're kind of looking around, <laughs> and it, I had this feeling of like, ugh, the rich are here to collect their spoils. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, these. It, Do you think that having the, the great experience of seeing the sky and the, the desert and all, all the, the beauty, and where you're like, wow, this is amazing. And then. When you have something like a fire, and then on top of that you have a giant group of people, yeah. it seemed, and then you realize oh, there's not really a lot of law enforcement here. Like this seems like it could be completely chaotic. Yeah, it's and it is like the fire itself is protected because I think someone ran into the fire last, last year. year. Yeah, yeah. He died right. Yeah, fucking killed himself. Ran right into that fire. Ooh. This year was like, this year was pretty well regulated. Like because we had seen a couple nights before at sunrise. There was like, you know, they have all this, it's, what I found to it was like the kind of the duality of it all. Like Burning Man feels very much like there's this like sacred and profane shit all happening together. And it's 
oftentimes pretty cool. And like f- sunrise a couple mornings earlier, there's this like 20 foot wooden dragonfly statue that someone had built, and they are they light it on fire. You know, they're just like, now we're gonna burn it. Like some dude had spent a year making this statue, wow. and he's like, now we're gonna fucking burn it. And so there there were park rangers all around it. And so there's no getting inside. They light it on fire, and then the sun rises over to the left. And then you looked up. I looked up, and there were like 30 people parachuting out of the sky <laughs> at sunrise. And you're just like, "What the fuck is going on?" But it was me- it's, it was really cool. I really wow. I enjoyed that. But by the time Saturday rolled around, you know there is something about fire that's very primal, and yeah. you can feel like there's like there's some pagan quality to it all. And it's cool, but it's like you could feel like everybody's like energy kind of getting like a little darker and more primal. And and I hit a point where I was like, all right, guys, I gotta I gotta get the out of this like seventy thousand. And I also had a fear of like I wasn't scared of the fire. I was scared of like I was seated watching, and I was like, I'm scared of a trampling. Yeah, that's what I mean by like the giant group of people. And then also with a fire and and then a gathering. When, when you're dealing with a big gathering, there's always the potential for someone acting out, whether they just need a lot of attention or they go crazy or, I mean, think about adverse reactions to psychedelics. Yes. And 70,000 people, the potential for something going haywire is pretty high. Yeah. It, w- w- what I found interesting over the whole week was, because I was pretty skeptical. I didn't go in. I went in being like, I want to experience this thing that a lot of people have experience. I just want to like know what that experience is. Um, but what I've found fascinating is there's, there's some law enforcement around, there's some rangers around, but there's really no, it's pretty anarchical. Like there's really very little, but in as, in so much, there's actually like some unspoken rules that basically everybody's kind of following. Which I found kind of fascinating where you're like, there's no, everybody's on bikes. There are crazy art cars running around with like fucking shooting fire into the air. There's no, there seems to be no like regulatory board being like, let me make sure that the, your crazy 30 foot three tiered iron car is up to (laughs) standards. Yeah. (laughs) There seems to be very little of that. And yet it all seems to function pretty smoothly like there's like some unspoken acceptance of certain rules i'm sure there are mm. people freaking out i know there are people like but it's mostly people like being like i took too much drugs and i didn't hydrate and like they go to the medic and they're but like weirdly i found it all operating pretty smoothly uh but that's when the 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 acid then sort of turned a bit where i was <laughs> i was like this is there's some darkness here that i want to get away from well, it's, it seems like whenever you have a situation where you got a bunch of people that want to do something outside the norm, they want to get together and they mm. want to experience something that's just, they're bored with society and this is their big break. And it seems like there's, there's so much expectations and there's kind of a code that these people want to follow. Mm-hmm. And that code is that, you know, it's almost like a utopian vision of a better society, yeah. even if it's for only a week or so. Yeah. And I think it works for a week. Like, I don't know if society, I don't know how a society would function in, like, largely lawless. I mean, the biggest rules are, like, don't put your trash anywhere. Like, there's no yeah. garbage cans anywhere. Don't pee outside. Like, pee in a porta potty pee in a jug, take it back, dump it out, because there's, like, no mark. No, leave no no mark. Mm. And it works. And, but I guess it, it works for a week, where you're, like, everybody's yeah. agreed for that week, and then you go back to your life. But, like... I don't know. It was, I got a fucking kick out of it. Like there's and there's a, you know there's like we there's one night you know there are all these crazy light shows at night it it becomes like this crazy Tron like light show everywhere you look you at the horizon for as far as you can see is just like people on bikes that are all lit up crazy art cars crazy pieces of art that are lit up um, and it's really wild but like you go we you know you ride around bikes and there all of a sudden we like roll up to this area where there's a like a mechanical arm holding these lights that are um led lights that are in this you know in a circle and you lie below it and it's like a light show you know but it, it's this like vortex light show so everybody's kind of looking up at it and it's really trippy and fun and everyone's like whoa it's so trippy 
and I we I laid down. I was like, this is rad. And then this dude rolls up. My friend sees this. You know those costumes of like um. Uh, those like Tyrannosaurus Rex, like that they're inflated and they kind of are like, you know, you see like dudes like walking <laughs> around, they're like around. individual sized things, but they're like, it's super weird. So I look at this guy and I'm, I start cracking up and my buddy just took that Tyrannosaurus Rex and walked him through the middle of everybody having their quiet trippy moment, you know, so like this Tyrannosaurus Rex just kind of rolls through and everybody's just like, hey. You know, and he's just like, <laughs> he was here before you, you know, and it's like, oh. so it's kind of fun. It's just like, everybody's like having their trippy moment and then it gets fucked up. And then a minute later, they're back to the trippy moment. You know, I, I got a real, I got a fucking kick out of it. It was weird. 